Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about hope is not a noise strategy. The reason I want to discuss this is because I hear this a lot in our phone calls each week with customers and clients. And they usually describe what they're thinking about doing to stop their particular noise issue. And almost without fail, the last sentence is, well, I hope it'll work. <laughs> well, if you listen to what they're thinking about doing and all the work and materials and labor involved, they better have a better strategy than hope when it comes to noise. So let's walk through some of the steps about noise. Guessing with noise is just simply foolish. You just, you'll never guess right. You'll never guess right all the time or enough of the time to build the appropriate barrier to handle the maximum frequency and amplitude issues. The minimum issues, you know, you can stumble through those, but the maximum issues, that's the hard part, okay? People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. You gotta plan with noise. You just have to, you have to measure. That's the first step in the planning, okay? You gotta quantify and qualify everything, okay? That's the whole goal. We gotta know what the frequency is, what the amplitude is, what the ambient noise levels in the neighborhood are. Let's say you're gonna be mixing at two o'clock in the morning. Those, if you're gonna mix at two o'clock in the morning versus the guy who mix at 10 o'clock in the morning, you're gonna have different neighborhood noise issues. So you have to design for those. We call them minimum and maximum pressures. You must know the frequency and amplitude. Frequency amplitude tells us all the materials that we're gonna use, the type that we're gonna use, the density, the construction methodology, it tells us everything. It's the roadmap for what we do. It's the roadmap for how we build the barriers and, and how to get it 100% right and 100% uh, fixed. What's a barrier? Well, we know it's a device or a, a technology between source of noise and you, the receiver of the noise, right? There's a big difference in design if your noise is below 125 hertz and a big difference in barrier design if it's above 125 hertz. That's why you gotta measure, measure, measure. Because we gotta know these, at least these two breakpoints here. Now we gotta know other things, especially with this one. But for purposes of discussion and illustration, we have to know the, these breakpoints here. We're dealing with vibrational acoustics, right? We have big sound waves that hits a barrier and then once it hits the barrier, it comes out on the other side, reduced in strength and amplitude, as you can see here. But it's all about vibration transmission. That's why a lot of barriers that we build are multiple layered materials with different densities, because different densities of material have an impact on different frequencies, along with the way you arrange those materials and construct them. So here's an example. Let's show a, a layered, uh, barrier for, for one usage. You can see the, the different materials, the MDF, the OSB, and the vinyl. And then let's look at another barrier. You can see it's a little bit thicker. Then you get really powerful and you want to uh, stop a lot of energy. You have to build a really thick wall with multiple layers. And here's a really good example of that using our carbon technology on the inside. Now, our carbon technology is a sound absorption technology, but used in the way you see it illustrated here in this graphic, can be very powerful as a barrier. But you see it's in the middle of multiple layers of material that have different densities. So please, hope is not a noise strategy. Try not to hope about anything. If we measure, measure the old carpenter adage, measure twice, cut once, we'll be 100% fixed and 100% right. Hope is not a noise strategy. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.